Hey, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. Arby, how do I do my intro? What's up, YouTube? Nope. You just saw the way I did my intro. <laughs> oh, hi guys. I hope everyone's having a good day. How are you guys today? Yeah, there you go. All right. So, um, you know, sadly, we do not have, you know, Claw today, aka Chloe. She's actually um, had to go home. They come and work here Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. But today it's Aubrey and Dad's turn to do some stuff. Guys, we have a really cool vlog for you guys. We're going to go over a clutch that we just had. Um, and then we're also going to go over the scents that they all came out, guys. And we're going to sex them for you and see all the craziness that we have behind here. But something I want to talk to you guys about first. It's so crazy. You guys remember I posted a picture of the GHI Yellow Belly Hypo Het Puzzle, which was this female right here. You know, she was a first time goer for us. Um, and she gave us six eggs and two slugs. She only weighs about 15, 1600 grams, right? And then we just had another female that we're gonna show you guys here shortly. But last night, um, we had a clutch from one of like our really, really big females. And it's just tripping me out. And I'll post a picture on there right now. But look at this girl right here. She's a big freaking girl, you know? Look at this. She's about, you know, 2,000, 2,500 grams. And look, even though she already has like all the eggs out of her, you know, she's still thick. You would think, man, this girl's gonna give us a big clutch. I thought she was gonna do about eight to 10, you know, something like that. She just literally gave us four freaking eggs. And this girl's humongous. So that brings us to the clutch that we're about to pull out, which is a <laughs> turtle almost wow. trip. That would have been pretty cool. <laughs> So this one right here is a banger, man. And this girl right here is not even that big. She's about, I don't know, I wanna say like 14, 1500 grams. But Aubrey, you're gonna help me with this. And this, right now, what we're gonna do is put this right here, and then I'll pull the snake out, and then you grab the edge, right? So check this out. All right. Be very careful. I am one of those parents that does spank, so. All right, not just playing. <laughs> As you can see, she's completely empty. She laid today, that one laid um, last night. But it just shows you, it doesn't matter how big these snakes are, man. We've actually had some snakes, some of our double head uh, sunset clowns lay about, you know, eight to seven eggs too. But I was so upset, man, because that right there is an awesome pairing. So this one right here is a super chocolate GHI vanilla hypo and we bred a black pastel hypo clown to her 100% head desert ghost so everything was going to be hypo um everything was going to be chocolate i mean we would have hit some crazy combos and then on top of that you know they were going to be head clown 50% head desert ghost but now with that genetic testing you know with a couple of sheds you know down the line you can check out if they're head desert ghost and i mean it can make the snake way more valuable but she did not give us a big clutch but let's talk about this one right here so right here we have a special clown and she was bred to our Ivory, spot nose, red stripe, Wookie head clown. And you guys know that this year I am doing a lot of head to visual pairings. Last year it was always visual to visual, but this way, you know, this time I want to hit some stuff that no one's hit or just catch up to all these crazy combos that people are doing. Um, this girl does not look too happy, huh? Mm -mm. Aubrey, you should pet her. <laughs> Aubrey's eyes just like went so big. No, let's not start out. All right, guys, uh, let's take this clutch out, you know, count them as always. Then we're going to get to the sense that go over how amazing the odds came out. All right, so let's take this out. So the reason we have Aubrey over here is because, you know, Aubrey, you know, she's old enough. Sometimes she stays here by herself with her brother, you know, whatnot. And, you know, she's a big kid. She's here with her homies. Um, but, you know, sometimes there's going to be times where she's going to have to take the clutch out by herself. And now that she's working on so many things, I mean, we're trusting her on a lot of different stuff. She's actually pointing stuff out for us that, I mean, trust me, it's a, you know, proud father moment. But, um... So, Aubrey, you know that we always, you know, take these eggs and, you know, let me see. Let me get you going right here real quick, little girl. So, let me just... And she must have laid them this morning because they're pretty, um... They're already a little difficult to pull apart. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, I have faith in this little girl. I mean, she looks just like her dad. So, all right. Eve erroneous. So, on this one, just be very careful with these, you know, and... I always just grab them here, and I always use one of my fingers, and I just peel it back just like that. Alright. Just be very careful, okay? Let's go with that one. Very, very careful. Okay. 
Very good. Dude, how freaking <laughs> awesome is that, man? Seriously, so we're gonna go through the whole thing with her. She's gonna go and candle some stuff with me and then we're gonna get to this clutch. So check this out, man. Eight eggs and one slug. Again, this is a first time goer as well. Um, the pairing again was Ivory, Spot Nose, Red Stripe, Wookie, 100% um, head clown, proven already uh, to the special clown. So, you know, Jessica Belka has been making some crazy special clown combos, man, that I'm just blown away with. Um, let me share a couple of pictures. Crazy, right? Of course, all of you guys are watching me are already watching and following Jessica Belga. But just in case you're not, make sure you guys go check him out because his stuff is just out of this world, man. Very, very motivating and really, really good friend. Big shout out to you, Justin. Thank you for everything. All right, guys, let's get to this. Aubrey, do you know what to do? Do you have an idea? Yes. All right, let's see. Let's see if I don't correct you. Start here. And what are we looking for? For the embryo. You can move around a little fast like that. Tell me when you find it. Right here. Where? Right here. Alright, no, no, you had it right there. Yeah, yeah, right here. Do the other ones. Oh wait, it's already right here. Yeah. <laughs> right here. It's right there. Perfect. The other way, go the other way. Oh, no. You're right, right. You're right, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Right here? Dude, Arby, yeah. you're a freaking natural, man. Freaking love this girl, man. I'm so excited, but I'm telling you, it's like, she's gonna be taking over this business anyways, her and A. So Aubrey, love you girl. Go back and do your homework. We'll catch you on the next vlog when you- With Claw. With Claw. Bye, Ab. Bye. Of course, we're gonna have a, um, an amazing, beautiful- <laughs> uh, Hey, wait, I'm not done talking, big dog. Get your best, get your ass up here. I do, my legs are sore. <laughs> Why were you working out? No, I was golfing today, my oh. legs are sore. So, like I was saying, a beautiful, awesome guest the turtle yes how are you big dog i'm good Next. Cool. down low Thanks. there you All go right. <laughs> so as you guys can see man our incubator is almost filled up for our first one we already have one you know back in um what's it called in storage just in case and the turtle you want to take over here real quick leave that open yes 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 Woo. so guys here's the thing i want to talk to you guys about if you guys have some of those incubators back uh, you know before i ended up buying two extra ones I used to always take the shelvings off so I could get a couple more space on there, but the more uh, uh, egg boxes are in there, the hotter it gets in there. Trust me, you can have a lot of deformities, shark mouth, kinks, and crazy stuff like that. Um, so definitely grab a couple of incubators, make sure they're spaced out, and this is the max it could get. We could get two more in there, and that's it. But you guys want me to share a couple of the pairings that, you know, a couple of these clutches that we're going to be cutting here shortly. Uh, let me show you. So our next one is a, uh, oh, here's one with my buddy uh, Adam for Beach Bombs. Pastel double hit hypo puzzle with the same black pastel hypo puzzle. So hopefully we can hit another one of those black pastel hypo puzzles. After that, we have a bongo clown female bred to that same ivory wookie red stripe spot nose head clown that was bred to that special. Ooh, this one gets really, really good. Then next we have a sunset clown bred to a double head sunset clown. This one's gonna, it's gonna be all those knee knockers. <laughs> Next, we have a Desert Ghost Pied bred to an Inchy Pin Pied. Oh, this one I'm excited about right here. Male was a Red Stripe Yellow Belly clown, uh, Coral Glow Clown bred to a Spot Nose Fusion Clown. And we we'll definitely want to see that, that fusion stuff. And then next, we have a Desert Ghost Clown bred to a um, GHI Red Stripe Heck Clown. Those are going to be some crazy ones. Then we obviously have some other crazy stuff in here, which I'm super, super excited to share with you guys. But uh, yeah, let's get to these sunsets. All right, guys, here we go. Check this out, man. I still cannot believe the freaking odds on these. We only hit two normal, well not even normals. We just hit two non-sun sets. And both these right here are inchy double head sunset head clowns. Look at these. And I believe from when we did sex them, these are a 1.1. How cool is that, man? I've always thought, you know, uh, inchy looked really, really good with sunset. Just one of the combos that works really, really good. Very orange. I really how pretty this is. And the best part, man, that these things are 100% head clown. Like I said, these are the only ones ever made. And dude, when I tell you how, I mean, how, man, how much messages we got about these bad boys, it was insane. So right there, we have one and we have a male. Hold this one right here real quick and I'll put these down. And right here, we have a female. So we have 1.1. I'll just grab the other three afterwards. Nothing, just tag me. Female, so we're at 1.2, and these will be the last three right here. Let me see. 
2.3, 2.4, wow. Again, look at this. Look how amazing this is, man. Imagine getting clown in here and yellow belly. Dude, that's gonna be so freaking awesome. Man, guys, I can't tell you guys how crazy, how much messages we got on these bad boys, man. The, the demand on these is freaking insane. Cause you have to think about it. Um, these are the first ones ever made, right? So I'll just break it down to you guys real, real quick. So like I was saying, Sunset Clown visuals are going anywhere from fifty dollars to $60,000, depending if they have any combos in there, right? Then females are going to be going anywhere from thirty dollars to forty, depending on what kind of combos they have in there. Now these, you know, say you had a male, right? Say a male is running you $15,000, $17,000, right? And you have a lot of clown females, high combo females in there. You run that male to them, you know, next year when he's, you know, ready to breed. Just think about all the combos you'll have that'll be 100% head sunset. I mean, dude, that's freaking insane, man. It's definitely a good project to get into. Um, I've gotten a lot of calls over females and males. It's it's pretty insane, but the only problem is that everyone's been calling for me. It's like, dude, first person gonna get some divs on these are gonna be the people from Patreon. Um, after that, you know, when they go up there, if anyone else is interested, you know, we'll put them up, we'll get back to those messages. But yeah, this is definitely one of the craziest freaking clutches we've had. We are gonna have two more clutches. We're just waiting for them to drop that are same from the Sunset Clown. This is gonna be to a visual clown. So everything in there is gonna be uh, Sunset 100% head clown. We're just hoping that, you know, that, uh, you know, they come out with nice veins and everything. We're a big, big clutch. But, you know, other than that, man, you know, we appreciate all the support. Uh, Till next time, peace.